Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to be doing a little different video. What I want to do today is I want to address a question that I get on my channel quite a bit. So this isn't going to be a review, of course. I want to talk about the difference between 5G Wi-Fi and 5G cellular service. Probably once to twice a month I get a question on one of my 5G Wi-Fi drones. If they need to have 5G cellular or 5G, I don't, or they say, the person may say, I have a 5G, I don't have a 5G phone, so I can't, I can't use this drone, or do I need a 5G phone? But they're talking about 5G is in your cellular service. There's a big difference between these two in the way they're, you know, not necessarily in the way they work, the frequencies, but just what you need. When you're connecting to a drone, you're connecting to basically a Wi-Fi hotspot that's coming off typically the drone to your cellular phone or even maybe your tablet if you're using that and that is connecting and communicating just as, as it would if you connected to Wi-Fi coming out of your home except for there's no internet access it's not connected to the internet it's sending you its telemetry and its video feed to your phone so you can see where you're flying a 5g is a faster it runs on typically around 5 gigahertz up to 5.8 gigahertz on the frequency range for the that um type of wi-fi it's a faster um it's a faster bandwidth it can transmit more data but it does have less range especially in a house going through walls stuff like that if you look at this chart on this website and i'll try to link to this because this is a pretty good article that explains the difference between 5g and 5g and that red line shows you around you know the five point the 5.8 gigahertz range and as that blue goes up on the right side of the chart that gets to where there's less and less um, service or penetration and on the bottom left is your stronger signal strength and you can see the blue arrow pointing down is to the 2.4 gigahertz which is a more traditional Wi-Fi now I'm gonna try to get too much into that because this is the difference between 5G Wi-Fi and 5G you know, cellular service now 5G Wi-Fi again will transmit more data it can do a higher resolution video feed but typically it won't have quite the range now 5g cellular service is talking about fifth generation of cellular uh, phone type of connection to their tower for typically your internet access that can use 5g uh, excuse me five gigahertz ranges but as you can see in this chart it can go way up to like it shows above 37 gigahertz off to the very bottom right so there's a whole host of ranges that the cellular uh, phone companies can use for that so very few people have five some of the newest phones of course have 5g fifth generation um frequencies you know um, tuned in on their phones that so they can work with it but most people still have just 4g or they say 4g lte and again it just happens to be that they got to the fifth generation and now it shares the name with 5g wi-fi now 5g wi-fi again can go from like 5.1 to like 5.8 gigahertz and those ranges and many of your home routers have a dual band where they will broadcast in 2.4 and 5.8 but your cell phone most new cell phones can connect to 5.8 gigahertz wi-fi i know i'm almost I'm, i hope i'm not confusing you guys because i'm just kind of winging this here i don't i really have a whole lot of notes um, written down but your phone if it's relatively new should be able to connect to the 5 gigahertz wi-fi range but it probably doesn't have fifth generation cellular service unless it's really really new the 5g wi-fi is typically referred to as 80211.ac wi-fi that's what they also will refer to that as but fifth generation where they'll say 5g compatible or whatever and the cellular service is talking about that they're not they don't care about your wi-fi they're talking about their five or fifth generation um cellular service because it's really really fast but again it doesn't have very good range either with those high frequencies that's why they're going to have to put these little antennas all over the place to be able to get the really fast 5g coverage 
So I will link to this article down below the video if you want to read this. He does a pretty good job of explaining it, probably better than what I'm doing, because I might just be confusing some of you guys. But again, 5G Wi-Fi is connecting to a Wi-Fi hotspot that runs in that 5 gigahertz range coming off your drone that lets it transmit data back to your phone that's mostly the camera or the video feed and maybe your telemetry information, height, distance, you know, uh, speed, stuff like that. Where 5G cellular service is completely different in terms of it's connecting to a cell phone tower. It's not connecting to your drone. It may use a similar frequency, but it's completely separate. It has nothing to do with connecting to your drone. Your drone can't, is not putting out a fifth generation cellular signal. So when you see the drone says it needs it, it you need 5G Wi-Fi or 802.11ac, just be, note that if your phone is older, it may not have that. You need to look and see if it does. Um, you know, and any newer home routers will have that too, and you may be connecting to it. Uh, just be mindful they use that because there's less cross interference. There's a lot of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals running around in the air out there. And your controller to your drone is probably operating on that. So you get cross interference. So 5.8 frees up much less interference. And even though it has shorter range, it may actually work longer range than 2.4 simply because it doesn't have that cross interference. It's not interfering with anything. And they can provide you a higher quality video feed to your phone on that faster five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. Whereas 5G is coming from the cell phone towers or their antennas, you know, from the cell phone companies. It has nothing to do with your 5G Wi-Fi. So when I put up 5G um, Wi-Fi you need, then you just need to know. And if you see any other review or say you need 5G Wi-Fi, you just need to be able to connect to 5G Wi-Fi in your mobile device or your tablet. If it's an older device, it may only be compatible with 2.4, and then you couldn't connect and actually use it. But any phone made in the last couple of years is almost certainly going to have it, unless it's a super cheap $30 phone or something, then it might not. So just be mindful of that. So if you guys have any questions, I'm by, by no means an expert on this, but it's a question I get a lot. And it's frustrating because I try to explain, but I don't want to confuse the person. But I had I had that question twice in the last few weeks where people think, I need a 5G uh, phone, fifth generation, to connect to this drone. No, you don't. So hopefully this clears up a little bit of confusion. Um, if you're confused with what I'm saying, then just go check out this article because this is doing a better job than I am at explaining it. But not everybody wants to read. Some people just want to listen or watch a video on that. So that um wrap up this video guys um hope you guys uh, found it useful be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you know when i do upload new videos and as always guys have a wonderful day the power of the dark side, 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 side.